back. It's time for this week's Coach Stuff, and we're taking it to the small school level this yeah, week. Yeah, Jim Fisk retired after 13 years as Chihuahua's head coach in 2016, came back as the offensive coordinator, and now is back as the head coach again. Can't get away from it. <laughs> and obviously, that's why we have coached him up this week. Sunglasses, that's what I need today. Let's get a good start, get a good start, gentlemen. Wing right, wing right. Stay down, Tyler. Pass! Ball, ball! Make sure you call 22. Hey, hey, red zone, red zone. Check screen, right up the middle. Run, run, run! Poison, poison! That's a helmet to helmet. Come on, you guys, you can do better than that. 43 boot right pass. Third down now, third down. Oh, you can pop your hats, it's quarter. Tell Tyler that he's got to work, to work to the linebacker on this. Zone left. Keep your eyes out of the backfield. Pass, ball! We got a bit of an upset here though. Deer Park dominates 35 to zero. Gonna get back to the lights. A picturesque night in Colville as they hosted Freeman. First quarter, Freeman is gonna get on the board. We're gonna show you how. Kanoa Rogan finds the end zone and gets to dish out. Woo! Some punishment too. Scotty's lead seven to nothing to the second. Colville with the ball. Here's one of the better picks you're gonna see. Dalen Posto <laughs> going full extension with a one-handed grab. Let's take another look, slow it down so you can really appreciate how sweet it is. Love it. Also a key play because it led to this. Scotty's march down the field, pulling off a sneaky little exchange, a little misdirection as Bowen Phelps gives it to Kanoa Rogan again. This is a sophomore and he's already tallying up the numbers all the way to the pager, making it a 14-0. Scotty's just before the half. They cruise 38 to nothing with the win. For our final 1A highlight of the night, <laughs> another man myth and legend, Thomas Patrick, <laughs> back joining us for Thomas Patrick. Those, those were night. soft fingertips there on the oh. interception. Oh, now, yes. no one got moss tonight, unfortunately. Uh, but we did uh, head on over to Lakeside, Newport Lakeside. Lakeside is 3-0 and coming into tonight. So, kids, make sure that you warm up and you stretch and you practice because it's all about practice, and including the cameraman. Uh, that, uh, so check out, check out these fast facts. Okay, this is uh, Newport with the ball. 10 plays, 10 rushes, 50 yards, 10 minutes in the first quarter. Important third down, can't convert that. Actually went on to be a missed field goal. So the very next play for Lakeside, show off the cannons. <laughs> that is a wide open receiver there. 78 yards, just took him one play. I mean, how do you show up the other team, which takes a 10 play drive, 10 minutes, 50 yards, and you just do one play 78 yards down the field. All Lakeside in this one, they went at 21 to six. All right, thank you so much, Thomas. Nice matchup at the 2B level tonight. Northwest Christian and Lynn Ritzville Sprague have had great seasons thus far. Pick this up third quarter, trailing by four. NWZ has a great chance to score. Aiden Tibbetts fumbles the ball on the three yard line going in. It's recovered by Colby Tracy on the ensuing drive. However, Johnny Lester jumps the screen pass, picks it off, giving the Crusaders another shot. That drive would end on this sack on third and long by Sean Steinberger. The Crusaders had one last gasp attempt, but Emmett McLaughlin's pass intercepted by Nick Laves, and that would do it. Scoreless second half gives the win to Lynn Ritzville Sprague 20 to 16. And our final game of the night at the eight man level in Chalia at Odessa. This one was all Odessa from the start. On the very first play from scrimmage, Dayton Zeke takes the handoff 49 yards to the house to put Odessa up 8-0. Next possession is deep again. This got this time from two yards out, making it 16 to nothing. Later in the first, Davey McMillan's turn to take the handoff to the house. Odessa rolls 52 to 14. If you are just itching for more football, guess what? You're in luck. WSU plays tomorrow, 1130 Pac-12 Network against Utah. So we will be back and ready to go. We will tomorrow. be back. That's correct. We're both on weekends. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>